in. How is it going? Everyone, welcome to I Wanna Play The Needle Game but in 3D. A very long title, but it is as long as it is self-explanatory. This is pretty much supposed to be a, a needle game, but in 3D. So, pretty much an FPS. <laughs> It's a, it's a first-person shooter game, essentially. But, you know, I, I thought it was an interesting concept that might have been done already, I don't know, but I, I still felt that it was, a, it was gonna be a good uh, idea to stream it. As you can see, <laughs> this is what you see. You basically have... Uh, yeah. What you will expect from a game like this. The problem is that I try use <clears throat> borderless gaming on this to see it in full screen, but the game completely bugs out. So that's not a good idea, and it's a little bit small right here, so might be a little bit hard to know exactly where I'm going or what I'm doing. You know, but that's fine. Um to figure out, first of all, where to go. Uh, I'm not sure where... Oh, up there? Oh, I can actually make that jump. Okay, I need to start getting used to my limits. Basically. Because obviously, <laughs> seeing this in 3D makes it a little bit harder than seeing it in... in 2D. But yeah, for what it looks like, <clears throat> and also judging by the title, it's just a, a needle game, pretty much. In terms of you have a screen, you have to reach the end of the screen, which is a portal. That's the idea. Alright. There you go. I'm not sure where the save is getting stored because I'm not seeing it in the game folder. So maybe it's in app data or something. Where do I go now? Hmm. Oh, up there? Okay. It's gonna be a hard jump. Is this an F jump? This looks like an F jump, but in 3D. So I can assume that people that have motion sickness is probably not the best game to play or watch. But yeah, thankfully I don't. Well, even if I had, I'm just seeing it through a tiny ass window. So it wouldn't happen. Hey Blue, how is it going? Yeah, quite a, quite an interesting game. Wait, did I? Well, I made it. Okay. Well, in some cases, it's also gonna be hard to tell when you make jumps and when you don't. Oh, that's the... wait, what? That's the portal, but... how do I get there? Oh, will that work? Okay. It's quite a crazy game, as you can see. But, you know. I, I really don't know if it has been done before this idea, because this game was released not that long ago. Well, I mean, it was added to Delicious Fruit four days ago. It doesn't necessarily mean that it was released four days ago, but, you know. Wait, where was I supposed to go there? Because, okay, definitely not up there, but then where? The, the, the moving platform should suck me in. Alright. I'm not sure where to go, really. Oh, there. Okay. Oh, and we got another save. Beautiful. That's where we need to go. I'm surprised that... Well, cannot I do this jump from here? I mean, if the moving platforms work the same way, I could just double jump to it. Maybe I should do it the intended way. I'm not sure what the intended way is. 
because I'm trying to spam champ when I get to the platform and it doesn't seem to... Or I guess maybe it does work. Yeah, I guess it does work. Then here and then here. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can just keep that if you jump uh, through the platform to the portal. All right. What's pretty funny when I tried uh, like using borderless gaming that basically the the cursor couldn't stop rotating. Was basically like a, like a mind uh, controlling uh, application. It's like I was gonna get brainwashed. Especially since you can off, but. Am a 3D gate jump? That's a little bit evil. As you can see, you can change the length of your jump. I'm pretty sure that for that gate jump, I'm supposed to do it very, very slowly. But then, it's definitely gonna be a problem. I mean, if I already struggle with gates in 2D, doing them in 3D is probably not the the brightest idea. Well, another thing that is kinda weird is that, obviously since this is an FPS, the way you... the way you move is by using WASD, right? And I'm used to play with controller. So this feels a little bit weird. I mean, obviously, if you just play it as an FPS game, like let's say you were playing Portal, I guess it's not that big of a deal. When you have to be precise like that, it seems like it's kind of a problem. That that gate jump is gonna be an issue. What I don't know if is this game is made in Game Maker or not. That's something that I have no clue, or if this is a like another engine, I don't know. Oh, I say. You are going to guess yes? Yeah, maybe. I don't know though. And again, it's not like the physics being like loyal to fun games matters too much with this perspective, right? <laughs> I'm supposed to jump like this, right? Seems like quite the, the complex jump if it is the way I think it is. Because I don't think you can just stay... Oh, never mind, you can. You can actually stay... You do it in the very corner. Game shows off Game Maker 3D capabilities. That other game that also had 3D was insane. Yeah, well, I mean, it definitely looks, at least by looking at the at the at the window name, the fact that it has the dead and the playtime. It finally feels like it could be made on that. But I don't know. Anything is possible. Now, this thing in Delicious Fruit has a difficulty of 50. Question if that's something that is accurate. Oh, a save. I hope it is. The difficulty of 50 should be easy. There were also some reviews saying that the game is short, but I wonder what type of short we're talking about here. So, where should I go here? Because there are two platforms, but... 
but I'm not there. I'm trying to see. Ah, oh, probably there. Yeah, I guess if you want me to jump there, because I don't see anything on the other side. Oh, there are also spikes there, aren't they? Yeah, they are spikes. Wait, that's where I came from. <laughs> Oops. No, I actually think you have to go to the other side. Just that it's hard to tell because you cannot see everything, right? So, for example, the continuation is there at the at the bottom, but there is no way for you to see it from here. Uh, yeah, uh, that was pretty easy, but the hard part is figuring it out. Right? Our save. Oh shit! Are they supposed to be shoot against? Damn, that looks like a mess. Oh wait, that's water. That's what it is. Okay. Interesting. Pretty cool that it integrates core concepts of uh, fan games into into this. And and the way it's implemented, right? Pretty pretty cool. I do hope is that none of you are getting motion sickness. I personally know I'm not, but I know how other people might be with regards to that. But yeah, hopefully you're not getting motion sickness. I think that as long as you don't have it in full screen, you should be fine. Because I also don't don't have it on full screen. Oh, you're supposed to spam there. And for what I know, this was made by uh, someone from the Chinese fan game community. Wait, what's the point of... Oh, I say, What's the point of these things here? You can just go to the side. Alright. Seems uh, weird. Maybe a little bit hard to know exactly when you are in the water and when you are not. And we are clearly in the water. Mm, wait, I don't need that platform, do I? Oh, maybe I did? Fuck. Ah, oh, that's such a shame. So I'm pretty sure, I mean, th that second champ was pretty weak. Maybe with a better second champ it, it would have been enough. Or not, I don't know. I guess next time I'm gonna be aiming for the, for the platform. It's a very similar engine to the 3D stage in I Wanna Be the CBC. Maybe, I don't know. Who is it going Wasabi? Is this made in Game Maker, by the way? Or is this made in something else? I mean, considering the, the very lightweight size of the game, I will assume it is Game Maker. Obviously, if it was something like Unity, this would probably be one gigabyte. <laughs> so yeah, it's not something like that. You don't 
don't know, probably this maker uses Game Maker often. It probably is the case. This maker that, by the way, is a Chinese maker. Oh, props to him. I can't believe that I got there once and I messed it up for not using the damn platform. It was my fault. I think the, the name of the maker is PP. Or that's the name he goes for. That's a, an interesting name. Maker actually made more adventure stuff that you probably would like. Yeah, yeah, I know. I mean, uh, it will be easy to find in delicious fruit. But yeah, I mean, I didn't really feel like playing fun game, which is the reason why I, I guess I went for this because yes, this is a fun game, but in that it's more of a of a proof of concept, obviously. I don't think that 3D fan games would be that good of an idea. Or they will have to be... Because I, I, I guess the problem is that they pretty much become first-person shooters, obviously. Which, I mean, it's not a bad thing. Hey, we could have a a new branch of fan games become third-person shooters, but yeah, I'm not sure if I if I would like the trend. There will be something. I guess it all depends on how easy they will be to do. The camera is the main issue. Yeah, but I think that it's the main issue because it's being presented as a as a... as a needle game. Like, it should be more... action-oriented, I guess. Which is pretty much what... Uh, what the first-person shooter genre usually is about. It's very hard to calculate. You, you pretty much... I mean, I could look down, I guess. But... If I look down, the problem is knowing if I'm still in the water or not. You know? I'm not sure. No, I guess looking down... No, you see, that's the issue. It, it's hard... To know to to stay in the water like that. I guess that's him. That actually seems like the easiest way of doing it. Okay, so now I actually do have to aim for the platform. Nice. No. Nice. Into the portal. Oh no. They are binds. Oh, this is gonna be painful. How do you even make vines work here? This might... This might take quite a while. Because how will you even do it? Because I know that in I, in I Wanna Be The Guy vines, you basically hold the sham button and press the opposite direction of the of the of where the vine is right but here i would say that it's looking at the opposite direction like then that, that looks hard that does look like quite a pro i don't know if i'm supposed to to save my double champ here or not but here you will need to to turn a lot, because pretty much the the idea is that, as I say, you you sham when you 
jump when you're heading on the opposite direction where you're looking. Them. Wait, after that, where do I go? Oh, you're supposed to go straight to the portal. So you're supposed to save your double champ until the very end, or is there a bind that I'm missing? That's the last bind, isn't it? That yeah, looks like it is the last bind. In which case I am supposed to actually save the the, the final the, well the final <laughs> the double champ. Hopefully you don't get motion sickness from this. The, the camera is gonna get pretty shaky, I can tell you that. Yeah. At least try not getting motion sickness, if it's possible. I mean, my, my biggest problem is going from that vine to this one. Because looking at the opposite side will require me to to jump here, right? If I jump there, um, yeah, th this thing is here. I'm not sure how to compensate for that. I think you can technically land on the side there. That seems very hard to okay. Especially since it's very... <laughs> very hard to see where you are going. Since the camera is moving all over the place. Oh, that wasn't a bad attempt. Go to the third line. Which is hard to tell. <laughs> like, which line you are currently on. Pretty sure that was the third bind. Uh, How is your stomach doing so far? I mean, it's doing fine. Because as I was saying earlier, it's impossible to play this game on full screen because the cursor completely bugs out. You cannot do that. And because you cannot do that, I have to play this game in a very small. And since it's a small screen, it's not really that dizzying as you might think. I mean, since in the stream you see it as if it was full screen, it might look bad, but it's actually not that bad. Very weird concept, the concept of jumping using the like basically moving the camera, that's how you jump. You don't press anything, you just move the camera. It's just moving it horizontally. I don't think moving it vertically changes anything. Okay, that might make things easier. Like, you just need to move it horizontally for this to trigger the shunt. Yeah, this might not be as hard as I thought. It's still gonna be complex. Maybe not that complex. I'm surprised since it's the the first time that it uses the vines, that it uses them in a screen that is like relatively complex instead of a, a more straightforward screen, right? I guess borderless gaming not working was a blessing in disguise, but then that jump is so hard. Like, it's so far up. Like, I actually got, I think, there. Like, around that height. That's where I got. 
don't know why there are spikes here, by the way. Uh, yeah, the problem is that even when you get all the way up there, you still need to ace that... that last double shot. That's gonna be a problem. That wasn't even close. Maybe I need to champ a little bit more inside that vine. Like, I need to... Oh, well, that looks a little bit hard. Like, champing into the same vine. I mean, it's something like that. Like, you need to do a, a 360 in order to champ on the same vine as you would do in a in a regular fun game. All those 360 no scopes are actually gonna prove useful here. Can you believe it? I still cannot make it into that one. That's quite ridiculous, I gotta say. Seems that he just put the portal way too high. Unless, I mean, I don't think I'm missing a vine, right? Like, that's the highest one. Like, this pillar doesn't have anything. This pillar here has the, the second one. And that's it, right? I don't think I'm missing any vines here. I do. Well, the problem is that usually needle games tend to have always like a final screen or like a final world that uses all the gimmicks in the, in the game. So the problem with that is that this is probably not going to be the last time we're going to be seeing vines here. Right. That was relatively close. At least. Said about doing 360s to champ again might not be the best idea. Oh, I wasted my double. Maybe the best way to do this is to aim like <sighs> aim diagonally up. Instead of aiming straight forward, it should be a better idea to just do that. That, that, that last champ is hard. Because doing the binds is whatever. But doing the, the champ into the portal is quite extreme. Definitely not a show. Wait, maybe... 
I think I'm looking at it the wrong way. I think instead of going straight for the portal, what I'm supposed to do is going for the platform, for that platform. Because if you look at the portal there, the portal is actually one block higher than the platform. So it will be indeed a better idea to aim for the platform instead. Alright, I'm gonna try that. See how it goes. Okay, that was close. If I had jumped a little bit higher from the vine, it would have landed there. I'm late. That's the problem. You need to like jump almost immediately after you land in the vine. You're not supposed to wait that much. Nice! Got it. Oof, that took a long time. Oh, more binds? Well, this looks easier, actually. You're, do you're supposed to do the opposite, which is uh, doing the double champ first and then the rest. Well, at least I hope I'm right in the fact that it looks easier. Maybe I'm completely wrong. So I think that once you reach that pillar, you're supposed to reach that vine and double jump. I think that's the idea. It's not possible to reach the first vine without double jump, because you cannot land there. So I read, wait, maybe this champ is possible. No, unfortunately no, you do need a bind there. Alright. But which bind exactly? That one didn't work. <laughs> Oops. I almost forgot what it was dying. On the previous screen there was no death. It was only bodies. But here there is death. Ah, that's not enough. I really wonder which bind is supposed to be the one here. Like this one is the highest. But this is a, a, a question of if I'm supposed to use the highest or if I'm supposed to use the closest. I'm not sure. What I do know is that I'm not supposed to use the spike. But that doesn't seem like a good idea. No, I have a feeling that it's probably the, the closest. Uh, closest binds, not this one. The problem is that it gets hard to see at that point. See, for example there, I was aiming at the completely wrong direction. There you go. Okay, from the middle one it works. Beautiful. What's in here? Okay, more vines. He really likes vines. Okay, 
Okay, so I'm in water now, but what is water and what is not water here? Okay. That is not water. At least you needed to know. That part there was not water. So I'm not sure how you are supposed to. Because you don't have the double champ there. Maybe I'm supposed to recover my double champ somewhere else. Because the double champ needs to be used to reach the vine. Oh, fuck. Game? I think the game just crashed. Oops. It's okay, don't worry. It has a save functionality, so I should be able to reload it. Well, I mean, I should be able to reload it uh, as long as I can close it. The, the, the game completely hung up. Uh, that's a shame. Alright. Yeah, this is Game Maker, by the way, now that I see the process in the Task Manager. It is indeed Game Maker. Okay, are you gonna be able to load the save, though, I wonder? Oh, you are! Nice! So the save actually works. Props to the... Props to the maker for making a functional... For making a functional save. So yeah, he, he's probably saving it on update or something because it's not in the... in the root directory of the game. Or something like that. I think the game crashed because the the cursor sort of like exited the screen. That's something that the game didn't like. I don't know how it exited the screen, but it did that. Wait, oh, I get it. I'm supposed to preserve the double jump. But wait, does that work? I mean, I think the idea that I save the double jump from there but does that really work? like if I'm on the water doesn't it count as a double jump? maybe it doesn't I think I'm supposed to use the bind to do that I don't think I'm supposed go straight. I think the, the bind might be needed. Alright. Yeah, as much as I want to try to do it without the bind, the bind does seem completely necessary here. Alright, well, it doesn't seem like it's gonna be that hard to do it with the bind. That. Oh, I missed that though. I, I, I used the double champ. You actually don't even need to use the double champ. Because you have enough room to just, like, fall down. Okay. Obviously, you're supposed to, to use it when the time comes. That's the game over screen. PP solar games as well. I see. It's a rainbow game over. Very, very nice looking. Ah, I almost made it. But yeah, as you can see, that's the strategy. Clearly. After the bind. Nice. Oh wait. The song changed? 
Wait. Thanks? Oh, that's the end. I guess. <laughs> Alright. Well, that was uh, an interesting fun game, an interesting concept, I I gotta say. Because, yeah, it seems like this is the, the final screen, since it, it should say thanks. Alright. Well, it was a pretty cool concept. I wouldn't use vines for a game like this. Uh, but I do think that it's not a bad idea to have fun games in 3D, but I think that they have to be more action-oriented. Like, it doesn't have to be needle-oriented. It has to be more about shooting and shit. Even if it's not necessarily shooting enemies, like, more about shooting switches. Uh, you can make it platforming, but I don't think that making it as if it was a needle game is the best idea, though. It, it's still a pretty cool concept, and, you know, you can see that it's pretty clearly doable. And in Game Maker. This is made in Game Maker. As I say, for what I seen in in the task manager, yes, yeah, stoner shit. How is it going, Riemann? But yeah, hey, props to this guy PP for for doing this. Uh, a very very cool concept. But yeah, that was I wanna play the needle game, but in 3D. So props to PP and you know good stuff.